رمضان قد أهل بالصيام وأطل مصيدا أهلا وخلا ليته في كل حين رمضان قد أهل بالصيام وأطل مصيدا أهلا وخلا ليته في كل حين يا Tonight, insha'Allah ta'ala, we'll be talking about an important subject. A subject that every single person must know, should know, must understand, comprehend, and acknowledge. However, we must understand something, brothers and sisters, that if the Almighty Lord was to punish us, for the sins that we commit every day, every night, know something. You, I, everyone will be in a state of constant, perpetual, continuous punishment. But being our Creator, being Allah Ta'ala Al Khaliq Azza wa Jal, He knows that He created man with a deficiency of weakness. Thus, the most gracious, the most merciful, the all-forgiving, the acceptor of repentance, the loving, the caring, the affectionate, has given us the opportunities, the ability to erase the sin that we commit every single day every single night brothers and sisters he descends every single night this is your Lord Allah Ta'ala every single night to the heavens of the earth asking is there anyone out there in other words us any slaves of mine any of my creatures seeking forgiveness Asking for repentance, seeking pardon, that I might grant it to him. What a Lord, what a Creator. Every single night you have a chance. Every single night he spreads out his hands. Is there any one of my creatures who are seeking repentance, seeking forgiveness? Because we sin day and night. Even though we cannot visualize this, see this, manifested before us, we are sinning. We are created in this manner. So He's given us the chance. He's given us the ability to open our mouths, to raise our arms in the last third of every night and say, Ya Rabb, O oh Lord, please forgive me. Just every single night. Insane is he who does not acknowledge this. Insane is she who does not acknowledge this. He has given us many opportunities to erase our sin. That we commit, we all commit sin. No one is fallible, fallible infallible. No one. No one is perfect. No one is excellent. Only the one that created excellence. Perfection is, his, is excellent. None of us. Likewise, performing the five prayers every day and night erases sin committed between each prayer. Erases sin. Greeting to those who pray. Greeting to those who prostrate, who place this pure forehead of theirs, this Muslim forehead, this submitter of theirs on the ground. And says in sujood, Subhan Rabbi al-A'la. 
Glorified is He, the Most High. At least a hundred times a day. Greetings to you, O submitter, O believer, O Muslim. Greetings to you. Performing wudu, another great opportunity. You raise a sin with every drop that comes down. A sin is coming down. Have we understood this? Every drop that drops from your limb, it's a sin dropping. Isn't Allah Ta'ala most merciful? All forgiving, affectionate, loving, caring. Wallahi he is, brothers and sisters. Wallahi he is. Shaking the hand of your fellow Muslim. Erase a sin. It will keep erasing. The longer you hold his hand, not her hand if you're male, the longer you hold his hand, the more sins that are just evaporating, dropping, coming down. What a blessing. A smile to your brother in Islam. Your sister in Islam is acceptable. Likewise, erase the sin. Allahu Akbar. What a religion, what a deen, what a way, what a life a Muslim has. It's beautiful. It's easy. It's love, it's care, it's integrity. Giving charity erases sin. Performing hajj and umrah erases sin. Going to Friday prayer erases sin. Walking to the mosque erases sin. Saying la ilaha illallah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah but erases sin. Erase a sin. Are we saying this? When we walk outside, are we walking like dummies or mummies who are dead? Are we acknowledging, reflecting, contemplating, pondering over Allah's creation? Saying, Subhanallah, look at that beautiful tree. Subhanallah, look at that beautiful, strong mountain which is a peg for the world, for the earth. Are we contemplating this? You contemplate this eraser of sin. By you contemplating, subhanallah, the khalaqana, by you contemplating upon this, your sins are being erased. How easy. How easy. Kul ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Inna Allah yaghfiru al-dhunuba jami'a. Innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim What a beautiful verse. What a magnificent verse. Wallahi a verse that should be written, engraved, in the hearts of every single human, every single jinn. Say all those who have transgressed against their souls, who's committed sin. Despair not the mercy of Allah Ta'ala. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Despair not the mercy of the Almighty Lord. He forgives all sin. إِنَّهُ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا He forgives all sin. No matter what you committed, you return to your Lord, He will forgive you. Fornication, drinking intoxicants, inducing intoxicants, looking at ladies, stealing, committing even shirk, disbelief, you return back to your Lord and He will forgive you. Because your Lord is most gracious, most forgiving, most merciful, affectionate, loving. He will forgive you. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Do not despair the mercy of your Lord. Do not say, no, he won't forgive me, I've done so much. This is the satanic whisper, an arrow which has struck you in the heart and is destroying your body. In order to take you to eternal damnation, hellfire. Waliyahu billah. However, one of the greatest opportunities, the greatest opportunities, listen brothers and sisters, the greatest opportunities to seek forgiveness, to seek mercy, is on our very doorsteps. An act that Wallahi guarantees forgiveness, mercy, reward, an act that guarantees paradise. Fasting in the month, the blessed month of Ramadan. Ramadan, the month 
in which the glory